Now the Canva of 2024 is not the same Canva of five years ago or even three years ago because it's no news that Canva is a video editor but it has so many AI tools now and in this video I'm going to be teaching you how to use Canva as a video editor as well as use the new AI tools that you've incorporated into this app. So if you're interested in this, get your papers and pen, jot things down and save this video into your playlist so that you can use it to practice anytime. And let me remind you that subscription is free. So to practice along with me, click on the link in my description box or in the comment section and it will lead you to the Canva app. And now let me show you how to use it. So this is how the Canva interface looks like. And if you want to make a video, I usually use it for thumbnails. And, it, and as you can see, I have a couple of thumbnails I've edited with Canva, but today we're going to focus on how to use it for video editing. And to do that, just click on video here. And over here, you would see the different ratios you can use. This is the horizontal ratio and this is the vertical ratio. That basically, you can use this one for your YouTube videos and any video with that dimension. And this one you can use for your TikTok, you can use for your Reels, Facebook and things like that. And if you're confused about which ratio to use, they already made it easier for you. So you can click on one of these ones here. So if you're making a TikTok video, you can use this YouTube, Instagram Reels, Facebook, and many more. If you click here, you can see the many more ratios they have. But for now, I'm just going to click on video. And as you can see, this is a clean canvas and they have designs here. If you're trying to make intros or you're trying to get inspiration of the type of video you want, if you have no idea what you want to make, then you can choose among these templates and I'll explain to you how to use them in details later. But for now, this is a tutorial for someone who already has a video but wants to edit it. And to do that, just simply go to upload and go to upload files. And when you're done, you would see your videos here. As you can see, I already have a couple of them, so I'm just going to select one of them. Which one? So I'm just going to select this one. So I'm just going to reduce the volume by going to audio and zero. And I'm doing this so that you can hear my own voice while I'm teaching you how to use this. So yeah, after... Okay, now at least you know how to reduce the volume. Well, anyways, you can just expand the video to fill up the screen because you don't want the bar at the end. So now the next step is to click on, click on the video, click here and then click on split page because you want to cut out the parts you don't want. So whichever part you don't want, just drag the cursor, drag the line to wherever you want to split and click on split and just keep doing that. So watch throughout your videos and if there's any part you want to delete you can just simply split it and then when you're done just click on it and delete and that will be done and if you're not satisfied with what you did you can simply go to undo and it will get back to how it was before so another thing i want to show you is the background remover if you click on background remover it would remove the background of your video of course you would have to wait for a while not that long and yeah Voila, as you can see, the background of this video has been removed. Once it's 100%, then you would see what I'm talking about. And this feature is especially useful if you want to overlay a video on top of another video or if you want to use a different background. Let me see if I can change it, the background to something else. So I simply went to elements. Let me see. Do I want a plain background? Let me see and i expand it just follow my cursor and see exactly how i'm doing it then go to position go to back as you can see you see my background has been changed although it's not as cute as i would prefer it to be but it's still you know oh this is the clip where i made the change to the background you can also do it for the rest of the clip but honestly i don't need this so you see, basically, that's how you change your background. I just showed you how to change your background. But again, I don't need it for this video. So this BG Remover is basically an AI tool. And with this crown here, it shows that it's in the Pro Canva. So if you're using the, pro, the free version, you probably would not be able to use this feature here. So I would advise you to use the Pro version. So if you want to speed up your video, you can click on Playback and then increase the speed. And it will be going really fast 
you see how fast it's going let me apply it to other clips so that you can see how really fast it's going okay so let's play and see well let me increase the volume so that you can see what i'm talking about unfortunately if you want to make any edits and you have to click on each clip and increase the volume i would have wished we can just do, oh look we can do that see just simply click here and all the videos on this and all the videos on this page volume would increase so let's see how it is so let me take the volume back to zero so that i can continue this tutorial and let me take the playback back to normal and if you want to also slow it down you take it back and the video will be slower than normal but we don't want to do that so let's put everything back to where it was so that video was too short to complete the tutorial because there are so many other things i want to show you and i will not be able to show you with that short video so i'm going to show you in this video now the next tool i'm going to show you how to use is the highlight and to access it you go to edit and go to highlight and as you can see it has created chapters of what this clip is all about and this ai is so incredible because this is exactly what i talked about in this clip so it makes editing easier i can just only select this part and add selection to the design as you can see the 12 seconds have become eight seconds and if you want the two chapters to be in the video you can just simply select both yeah, of them and add selection and now it has created two chapters it was just one whole clip and now it has become two clips the advantage of doing this is that in between here you can also add transitions so we can go to add transitions and select how we want the transition to be let's see how this one looks like Ooh, i like i always like this ones because it follows my tutorial style fashion collection on model exactly another advantage of the highlight tool is that you can also add other you can also add another video here so let's see let me try to add another video let's say i want to add the intro because you know there's a trend on youtube where people would have like the first clip to be the highlight of the video the most interesting part and then after that they put their youtube intro so you can put your youtube intro here you can select one of their designs if you don't want to create from scratch i prefer not to they have so many designs so i don't really like to create from scratch you can just select one of them here let me try this one i like this one here so i like this one and i think i would like to use this one um so we can change the text this video is about fashion and ai so let me type fashion and ai and we can also change this so we can also ungroup this so that we can make changes to some of the elements here so yeah this text i would prefer it to be my name and this is not my brand logo so oh, no undo this is not my brand logo so i'll click on it and delete it and this is not the title the title is elgin it's a review for elgin which is a company i'm going to upload that video after this one and then this next year i don't think i want it to be here i'll prefer to add the subscribe button so let's go to elements let's click on subscribe let's make this smaller and let's put it here i like it here or i don't think i like this one here anyways so i can remove them and put a big subscribe button here basically you just play around with thing with every every element here can be edited every single element so it's up to you to choose what you want it to do let me delete this let me increase my name let me remove this i usually just don't like too much text so maybe i can just leave the welcome so basically we just play around with what we have here it's not that deep okay just play around you can add elements you can add text if you want let me add text here and say um ai or algae yeah 
you know <laughs> it's not needed all these things i'm doing now is not needed but i'm just trying to show you that they, you can change some certain elements in the video so yeah that's basically what the highlight is used for it helps you to break down your clips into chapters you can delete some of the clips if you don't want it you can use the chapters to add transitions you can add videos in between chapters so it's just really awesome it makes editing fast and easy so now this is how the video looks like fashion collection on models you see so now also add music from canvas library and all you have to do is click on audio and select any of this music but you have to be careful of copyright and that's why i advise you to only use the music you downloaded from your um from your files so that you'll be sure that it's copyright free next we are going to see other parts of this edit tool which is filters if you want to add filters um you can increase or decrease the intensity of the filter you just play around with it um i personally don't really like using the filter so no and you can also extract audio so when you extract audio it comes under here so if i extract the audio of this clip extract audio and you can drag the extracted audio to wherever you want it to be this is particularly used if you don't want the original audio to be in the video so i can just delete it and replace it with music so basically you can use it to do jump cuts i don't know if you know what jump cuts are but when you're watching a video and the sound is coming before the actual scene you use jump cuts for that so with that you can just extract the audio and move it a little bit forward a little bit backwards so something else you can do with canva is to animate the clips so look there are different types of animation and animation basically shows how the clip appears so if you don't want to use the transition which you can you fix here you can either add transition here or just simply animate the clip the difference between animation and transition is that with transition it affects both videos so the one before and the one after changes are made to both of them but with the animation is just the clip it affects so if you don't want to use the transition you can simply use the animation and it and it would make the clip appear how you want it to appear we also have the flip in case your camera is and this is basically what it does also you can also trim your clips by just simply dragging it like this so as you can see in this part of the video um, i didn't say any takes the fashion industry to a whole new level fashion brand owner you can now showcase your fashion in that so i'm simply just going to put the line to the point where i started talking again so i'm simply just going to drag all this part where i was looking down up to the part where i start talking probably exactly yeah. so now all the silent part has gone you can also crop your videos so if you click here crop industry to a whole see, new um, level auto trim and with this auto trim it basically shows you the parts of the video okay. where you should remove. probably as you can see the part where i'm to trim i was silent okay. i'm not saying probably. it so like every ai tool it's not really as accurate so even if it shows recommends the parts to be trimmed you also have to make some changes as you saw previously i still made sure that the only part that was trimmed out were the parts where i was silent even though the part showed me some parts i was talking and some part i wasn't so you have to be careful with the ai it's new it's evolving and yeah you just don't want to put all your hope on it just it's a helping hand it doesn't have to do all your job for you maybe at least for now and you can also overlay video on top of video and i think you saw that previously when i tried to show you how to remove and change your background so it's basically the same way just click simply click on upload you can overlay your pictures as well if you want and adjust it anyhow you want to do it just click on the picture and you know make it smaller or bigger just dragging your mouse you can also go to videos and click on any of the video you want or if you want to overlay it you can just simply expand it and it will be like an overlay like a b-roll 
so this could be the bureau you can also add music here so you can download from your computer i personally don't want to add music so there'll be no need for that but basically you can add music especially if you've extracted the audio for example here i extracted the audio from the videos so if i want to replace this my audio with music i can just simply delete it and then add music from here from here just upload music here and add it so that's basically what that is for also if you want to duplicate things for example let me upload something here let me upload an image so let's say i upload this image here now you can simply press click on ctrl c and ctrl v to copy and paste the image or you can just right click and then copy no and then click on duplicate and it will do that for you so there are just different ways and if you want to delete you can also delete from here or right click and delete from here or just throw it away like this i prefer to throw them away because it's just easier I just drag it away from the clip and it's done and if you want to add a clip you can just click on this if you want to add a video you can just click on this plus button here and it should add a blank page where you can add a video so now in this new page i want to show you something really awesome and that is the new ai tool which is, is a video generator it's mainly an image generator but for now what it can do is to make images look like live objects so for example i'm going to you can choose inspire me and see what it will generate let's see what it will generate and look what it has generated can you see it's an image that has a slight movement so unfortunately this is currently still developing let's go back let me add my own prompt and see how it works let me see now let's generate look what it has generated at least with this one there is a slight movement so there is not much this AI can do for now, but I hope for the future that it can do more. But for now, the images of this video that looks like a GIF <laughs> or a GIFI is is clear, like it looks high quality. It's really nice. So I'm really hopeful for the future of what this um, AI holds. And yeah, basically, so when it's done generating, just simply drag it to the page and expand it as always always make sure you expand it so that you don't have the black bar when you download it and now this is basically how it looks like it's too slow let's see how it would look like when we speed it up if it can be sped up i don't know if we, we can speed it up unfortunately it doesn't look like we can because it has no audio i guess but yeah, for now, this is what we can get with the image, um, with the video generator. As an image generator, it's doing really well. But as a video generator, not really. Well, it is AI after all. It is what it is. So those are the many new things you can do with Canva Video Editor. You can also choose to adjust the brightness of your video clips. You can also add contrast tints these things you can use for color grading but nah i don't really like the tints you can use your fade you can play around with the color grade of the video to see what exactly you want from it um, the vibrant i particularly like this vibrance because it just adds a pop of color to your videos and you cannot just you can never have too much of vibrance on i usually use vibrance instead of saturation because look, saturation is just, I don't know, it's too much. But with vibrance, it can never be too much. So, so you can use all this to adjust the lighting and contrast of your video. So basically that's it. And you can also use this enhance voice to, you know, make, make your voice crisp and clear and also remove background noise, like those unwanted background noise in your videos. You can use the enhanced voice to fix that. I don't have any unwanted noise in the video, so it's not going to really show like that. But that's basically what you use the enhanced enhanced voice to do. So if you have an unwanted background noise, just simply go to enhanced voice.
Now, if you're interested in how to use Canva to create thumbnails, PowerPoint, and other free AI tutorials, click on this video here or click on this playlist and I'll see you in that video. Please make sure you like, subscribe, and stay notified. Bye. Mwah.